Welcome to the Outpatient Medication Review Self-Study Module. This tutorial will give essential information and steps to entering home medications on inpatients to provide a complete and accurate home medication list at PIH. We will start by accessing the OMR icon. After logging into EMD, highlight the appropriate patient and navigate to the main toolbar. Click once on the OMR icon. You may also access your OMR titled OMP within your adult patient profile. Open up the note through the enter note icon, navigate down towards the outpatient medication profile and click on the pill bottle. Here you'll be able to access the same functions as the OMR icon within EMD. The OMR patient header and toolbar. Within the OMR, you'll be able to see the patient header flow over from EMD. When you first open up the application, you will see existing medications sitting here. These are the medications the patient was discharged on on their prior visit. You have an icon that allows you to enter a new medication, which is the first one. The allergies icon allows for modifying or entering new allergy information on the right side, you will see a med status and a preferred pharmacy. We will now discuss how to add a preferred pharmacy. It is the responsibility of the primary RN to enter this information on admission. Click into None or the blue link next to Preferred Pharmacy. Once the next screen populates, you'll be able to search for the patient's pharmacy. Enter the name of the pharmacy and any other defining information such as city, state, or zip code. Click Search and information will populate at the bottom. Once you identify the pharmacy, highlight and choose Add to Preferred, and this will populate at the top. This is important information as this will populate on their home med discharge list with the information they need for any prescriptions. We will now discuss the documentation of no home medications and unknown home medications. We'll navigate back up to the med status on the right hand side and click on the blue link. We will only be using the first two options from the drop down menu to enter either that the patient is taking no home medications or that you cannot obtain a medication history. And this can be due to a medical reason or they simply don't know what they've been taking. Once you click on the drop down menu, you're going to choose either no home medications or unknown medication history. Choose the correct selection and then click on Save on the bottom right hand side of this screen. This will change your med status. In the next segment, we will concentrate on verifying medications the patient is currently taking. If medications appear in the OMR when the patient is first admitted, then these were medications they were discharged on with their last visit. Right click on the medication and a new menu will appear. Choices are verify, the patient's currently taking this medication. The option of follow up, we don't use. The next option as no longer taking, the patient is no longer taking this medication at this time. Entered in error can be used if the medication was entered incorrectly. Modify and History are both other options we can use with our medications. You can also get to these same icons and options next to the red arrow, the icons display, however they do not have the names. There is a little black square with a double arrow. If you click on that, you will have more options for icons. However, you want to get to these icons to verify or that your patient is taking their medications or that they are no longer taking them doesn't matter. Again, it's user preference. We'll start by verifying this medication. If I click on the green arrow check mark, you will see that at the arrow the green check mark appears. This is a visual stating that the patient is currently taking this medication. Mandatory fields are info source. If I click on the drop down menu, there are four options. Know that this is also a free text box if you don't find the option you're looking for. 
choose the pro appropriate info source. The next mandatory field is last dose, date, and time. If you click on the drop down menu, you will have a quick pick menu and the option for an advanced, which is your calendar. Most of the quick picks are will populate a date, but no time. So in order to put the most accurate last dose date and time, you will need to click back into that space, backspace the timeout, and use military time to put the appropriate time in. Once you have entered the information correctly and verified any of the medications the patient is currently taking, you will click on Save as Complete in the bottom right-hand corner. If a menu appears, like the one next to the red arrow, it means that you forgot to enter information and it will tell you exactly what is missing. Because we did not fill this out completely, it's telling me that it's incomplete. Otherwise, I would save it as complete. The next segment is no longer taking medication. So when medications appear for our patients on admission, we need to verify that they are no longer taking this med. We will right click or use the icons, click on the no longer taking, the pill with a no sign will appear, and mandatory fields are still the info source and last dose date and time. However, the asterisk disappears from last dose date and time, it is still mandatory. And the functions are as we just discussed. Free text or choose from the drop down menu and either choose from the quick pick or the calendar backspace in the box to enter the correct time in military time. Saving medications. Once you have completed your full med rec, meaning verified the prior medications and entered all new, you will choose Save Complete. There is also an option to choose Save as Incomplete. At any point that you have not filled in mandatory information identified by the red asterisk, you will get an alert that states that you need to go back and fix the following medications that have not been reviewed, require an info source, or last dose taken date and time. If this information has not been entered, you would choose a save as incomplete. Also, if you have not completed all of the remaining information from your MedRec, choose save as incomplete. If you entered any information as a free text medication, meaning you only had limited information, once you gain that information, such as a pill bottle or a written medication form, you may right click on the medication with a pink line and use the modify option. You will notice that it's grayed out but on the right side of the title there is a little structured note box. Click into this, take out the free text form and choose the information that is needed. So the name of the medication, enter this as you normally would so the frequency, the dose, last dose taken date and time. Be sure to enter all information, and once you have done this, you will click Save. This will update the MedRec to be current.